Can I share one interesting thing? Please. In, uh, 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 so, uh, something that happened in campus? Of course, yes. <laughs> this is about riots. Mm. Mm-hmm. So remember I was in Sono. In Sono, yeah. And then school fees was going to be increased, I think, by mm-hmm. such a huge percentage. Mm-hmm. And as student leaders, we said, no, this cannot happen. Yeah. Our colleague, they are the beginning of the <laughs> for fraud. Yes. Yeah. And we called for for a conversation mm-hmm. with the vice chancellor. Mm-hmm. And, you know, like, the conversation wasn't forthcoming. And mm-hmm. so we were just on the verge of actually saying we are going on a strike. Mm-hmm. And then we went in front of Taifa Hall to then, you know, have a kamukunji and mm. address students and say, guys, we are going to the streets mm. and tell the vice chancellor, and, mm. you know. Mm. Then it so happened. Um, I was in heels, in a skirt, but ready to like charge and ready to address students and say, guys, let's go. Then the cops just came in from Oh Central Police Station. Oh dear. Hey, we oh dear. ran. Oh we dear. ran. <laughs> and I was in, you know what? I ran all the way from Taifa, Taifa Hall, Hall to Hall 4. Yeah, to your room. To my room to pick just a few things and disappear. Because then we were told nobody should be found on campus within like an hour. Oh my goodness. I was panting. It was scary. But come to think of it, I think it was also exciting the adrenaline <laughs> but then it's just scary because the cops were all over with rungus along the paths along the UN tunnel is right <laughs> it is no because obviously as you say taifa hall or the main campus grounds that's where you do a lot of the convenience yeah right? yeah but also central is just yeah, right yeah. there right next to the university yeah so and then that's uhuru uh, highway yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and the roads oh, people are crossing there's traffic and yeah so the, all the factors coming together yes. are not favoring mm. or at times maybe are favoring what is a riot or probably really not yeah so all those factors so where are you passing you pass through the, the tunnel the, yeah the tunnel? yeah and you you many of you so you're careful not to fall not down because the moment you go down trouble, yeah. that's it Woo-hoo. yeah you and your heels you yes. and your skirts. oh my goodness oh that was so scary that that was so scary but yeah. they were saying there was this adrenaline so yeah <laughs> It was a mix. <laughs> it, it was an interesting mix. Oh, the, Something the, else. The, the, the youth. Uh, you know, oh, yes. The, yeah. Youth is fun. To, Some, something to, else. To, that, love, to leave and relieve. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Something else that was. Now, this was, I think, one of the training grounds for me. Mm-hmm. So as a student leader, you get to be sworn in. Right. And as the vice chair, mm. I got a chance to speak. Okay. I had never been trained on public speaking and all that stuff. And so I just wrote down my speech and went and started speaking. Nobody came to tell me time is up. At some point, I just started seeing people walking away. Oh dear. I had spoken for roughly more than an hour. Yes, <laughs> that, that was so embarrassing. No, seriously? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, like seriously? <laughs> That was so embarrassing, but you know, I, I look back, so I, I belong to Toastmasters Club and we yeah. are taught public speaking, yeah. sticking within the time, yeah. and I've done that a lot more. Mm, mm, mm. You've gotten the training. Yeah, but I go back to that moment, I'm like, oh, that, wow. that's really sad. But some, sometimes I think people look at us and imagine, oh, oh you, you were born yeah, speaking you, in public. You, but no, yeah, it takes some of those blunders, trains. like yeah, yeah. speaking for so long when there's little time allocated yeah. to you. Today, in, so we are right, to, so ele- ele- there are elections coming up, right? Mm-hmm. Um, this is one of the elections that has the highest number of new aspirants and a lot of them have been saying, oh my God, how do we do this? You know, how do we package mm-hmm. our messages so that they are crisp and, and, and attractive and right on point? And one of those really young aspirants, not even young, he's probably not as young, he's probably in his 30s or so, they said, hey, uh, this is actually an area of uh, strength. I need an area that I need to strengthen. Mm-hmm. And he was like, oh, I, I need it, I need some support along this along this path. I, I feel like I am charged. I feel like I have a lot, you know, uh, boxes ticked, but I need 
to ensure that my public speaking, my mm. messaging, the correctness, but also the punchiness of my messages is coming out correct. I thought, okay, uh, who do I or how do I help this person? He, he, they were asking for my support. I thought, yeah. I need to help you better. You know, beyond myself, I need to, first, I don't have maybe the time or even the skill set mm. to support you very evidently. But to, to what you're saying, it actually requires people to get the preparation. Oh, yes. And the support. Oh, yes. And the training. Yeah. And that's what you... And over time, you've gotten excellent. You know, you ask, how long do I have? And then you work with yeah. that. Yeah. You know? <laughs> if you have 10 minutes, you work within yeah. the 10 minutes. If you have 30, you work within mm. the 30. If you have 5, you yes, work within, within the 5. Within the five. So, um, it, training. It, it has taken the training. Yes, right? absolutely. Toastmasters mm. and, and others that, uh, that train you on that. Yes. Very powerful. That that's a powerful story, and thank you for sharing it. Thank I, you. I, I want to hear a few more from Compass. Compass was. Uh, <laughs> oh man, Compass <coughs> was was. Um, did you join clubs? No, I was so busy working, looking mm. for money, mm. and of course, Sonu was mm. a club. And oh, was was the. Because <laughs> then, after you get elected, yeah. you then need to. You focus on it fully. Focus on it. Yeah. Deliver. Yeah. How did you even students. then get to do ICL while while doing Sonu? Yeah, making time, making time. Huh. Yeah. I, I just made time. Oh I, I knew, you know, I needed to be in those spaces where I get to learn and interact with people yeah. beyond campus. Yeah, beyond campus. Yeah. Because that's also like another semi club. That yes, is not... absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. So you're, <coughs> um, you. Can I say something about campaigns? Oh, sure. From your time there? Yes. Mm -hmm. And even after, because then the work I do now, we still interact with student leaders mm -hmm. from public and private universities. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One of the hardest things was who campaign. campaigning. Yeah, I can imagine. He and and you need to campaign in all seven campuses. Yes. Mm, of the UON. Yes. And now for anyone doing now, they probably need to do more because the campuses have perhaps increased. Yeah, I yeah. think so. Mm, yeah. Mm. That used to be so tough. Tribalism. Mm -hmm. You know, I have always known I am Luya. Mm. And I am female, mm. but it never dawned on me that those things could be used against me in a political space. Oh, man. I was reminded, Yoluya and the Council of Elders from the different communities, Gema, <laughs> mm. uh, the Western Coastal. one, whatever, mm. yes, have decided that we are sharing positions and so you can't vie for this position. I was like, but um, I need to campaign amongst all students, not just students from Western region, like, like that's crazy. And I was told, no, you're a woman, you can't vie for this position, this is a position for men. I'm like, no, I want to vie for this position because there's something I want to do. I have an agenda for that role. Oh man, the, the violence. I remember one time going to hmm. Apakabete campus to campaign and I had a small team of guys supporting me and one of them told me, so Karen, the moment you're done addressing students, the moment you're done with your speech on the podium, just climb down the podium and start running. I said, what do you mean? And he said, start running towards this direction. Just start running. I said, okay. So we got to the, the Kamukunjis used to happen in the evening, like from around 5, 6 p.m. So all people vying for executive positions from lower to the topmost position then get, start getting to the podium to sell their policies and then, you know, you come down, somebody else goes and, you know, does that. So my time came, went, spoke, and I think the response was good, so I got carried away a bit. And just before I got to the ground from the podium, which was really, really high, there was a blackout. Cars were smashed, people were beaten, and guys were screaming and running. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So I remembered I was told, run. So I also started running. Again, were you in your high heels and skirt? I was in heels <laughs> <laughs> and a skirt. <laughs> 
So before I got far, uh, nyau nyau oh my on my back. Oh my goodness. That was so painful, but it gave me momentum to run <laughs> even faster. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yeah, so the violence. Oh, oh, it was it was crazy. And then you needed to use lots of money. So I had some friends putting some monies together for airtime. Um some contributed um and and bought flat to fix my posters. I used part of my help money, you know. Um but I know that sometimes students go to student leaders or candidates go to politicians. politicians. To then give them some money and oh it, it's crazy so and so the the philosophy for that is usually like so if you're a student leader you go to a politician whom you want to eventually align with or to like what's not, usually the not necessarily so mm -hmm. some go to politicians from their home areas mm -hmm. or go to politicians within political parties that they are aligning with mm -hmm. uh or like female students would go to there's like Kewopa, mm -hmm. um, Kenya Women Parliamentary Association, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, or approach women politicians and say, oh, you know, I'm mm -hmm. buying, mm -hmm. I, I need support here, there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so different people ah, go to, all right. yeah, okay. randomly. Okay. okay. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. So that the campaigns were always crazy and you, you needed to do like door to door. Mm -hmm. There are days when I had had this uh, small group of friends mm -hmm. that would be telling me, so Karen, we have like, you, you have campaigns during exam time. Mm. And so they tell me, Karen, we have a paper, let's say on Wednesday at 11. Mm. And I'm doing door to door, like on Tuesday night mm. till like three in the morning. Mm. Then they send me notes. I read <laughs> uh, between your three to like seven, wake up, then get into a bus or a matatu, go to campus, sit for the paper. Then in Tokapo, I go to a different campus to again continue doing the campaign. Then they tell me also, oh, remember we have this paper on this day, whatever, you know, all that. Crazy. <laughs> yeah. So I'm Crazy. sure you are probably not dating or having time for so boyfriends. So I, I, I tried dating, mm. but I, I had um, interesting experiences. So mm. as a student leader, mm -hmm. wherever you go, somehow students know you. Mm. And I remember this particular gentleman I was dating and we went out for dinner. And before we left to go for dinner, he said, you know, Karen, I just want to remind you, this dinner is for the two of us. Please, when we get there, do not allow anybody to come to our table and don't say hi to people on the way. Mm. You know, this is our time. Mm. Then I'm like, okay, that's mm. fine. Mm. So along the way, you meet people, they're like, oh, Wakoli, oh, Wakoli this, oh, you know. And then we go to the mess, sit there or order for a meal. And again, students see you and, they are flocking the table to come and say, oh, you know, Akole, I voted for you. So how are you going to repay me? Or I really campaigned for you. Or Akole, I have this problem. I don't have school fees. Or I don't have this. I don't have that. And he's like, but Karen, I said, this is our time, you know. So I would try Lenga people then, you know, go to the room and I'm like, oh, sorry, you know. You know, at some point I said, you know what? I, I don't think I can yeah. date in campus. <laughs> so let me wait till after, yeah. then maybe... Uh, focus on that but yeah. i did give it a try yeah yeah poor guy where is he now i don't know <laughs> <laughs> you owe him <laughs> you owe him time he waited poor guy he, he, he all he wanted was your attention <laughs> yeah those complications of yeah, student yeah. leadership yeah yeah, yeah. I, I i i completely i i feel him anyway i'm, I'm joking <laughs> yeah so um you finish your time in this lovely experience and thank you for sharing just the fullness and complexity of um, your time as a student in campus but also as a student leader mm. um, who's also experiencing just the wildness and vastness of what that can be and, and more. all right corruption in student leadership oh that, man that, is, that was crazy yeah we used to call it jackpot jackpot cash cow yes mm -hmm. Um, you're somewhere and you hear the administration has just approved some funding for, let's say, a sports day for students. Mm. And so that means the person in charge of sports or that docket hasn't taken the money to go organize for an activity for students. And oh man, that used to be crazy. There really wasn't mechanism for accountability, mm -hmm. transparency. Um, as student leaders, you, you're taken through orientation, but you're not taught that this is how you do 
budgeting this is expected of you this is how you account for the money you've been given and you know and that used to happen a lot in not just public but also private universities mm-hmm. but i think private universities had had mechanisms to ensure a little more accountability Chuck, yeah Um and so we then decided to start the what was it called National Student Leaders Forum. I was a fine founding chairperson. Mm. Um student leaders who were really keen on issues of integrity and accountability and performance within student bodies came together from public and private universities in Kenya mm-hmm. to then start a movement to push for integrity within student bodies and student unions. And I'm not so sure whether it's still there but it's a movement that has been on for a long time. I'm glad we were able to spread the message of integrity and accountability among student leaders but oh that that was a big problem and it it gave me so much trouble because I was like you know what we are doing now we are sowing seeds into our future lives and whatever we do whatever actions we take whether we choose to be accountable or we choose to eat student money it will actually follow us into our future lives does, yeah. you know that was yeah and and partly that's why i started emerging leaders foundation mm-hmm. and we started with training student leaders about integrity about leadership about self awareness that you don't need to be in that sleek car yeah. to be seen to be powerful mm-hmm. you just need to know who you are mm-hmm. understand your purpose understand mm-hmm. your passion and be the best you can be mm-hmm. you're powerful as you are these exactly. things don't add they're yeah. not they're not um, they're not they're not additives at yeah. times they just probably just take away yeah um very interesting uh, how, how far did did uh, were there structures put for that union that you set up and uh, did it outlive you uh, of course for so mm. many years so right mm. now i don't know whether the current student leaders um associations actually work in that structure mm-hmm. um but i still work with student leaders mm. in both private and public mm. universities to train them mm. in matters leadership mm. Mm. integrity accountability mm. uh, and just positioning themselves right. to for leadership at the national level yeah. post campus yeah, yeah yeah no but that, that that's very good because you are able to use your position as a student leader at the time to expand and work with other student yeah. leaders Uh, when in school you did this while still in yes. as a student leader in campus yes campuses. yes yes um was it easy bringing of together of course it wasn't easy because then the there rest. are interests there and op- people yeah, exactly. want to be yeah the founding this yeah. and that yeah. it was crazy and gender questions yeah. some people asking no you're a woman can yeah. you lead me and yeah. you know yeah. stuff like that but i'm just happy that, uh, that we we had um, a common purpose we had yeah. unity of purpose to yeah. to say we want to be leaders who are exemplary leaders yeah. who stand on integrity yeah what's yeah. the size of um the first like coming together who who brought that up like who who funded that african evangelistic enterprise uh-huh. yeah um, i don't know whether they're still there but I, yeah. i suppose they are but yeah. they are an entity that works across the region not just in kenya mm-hmm. and they were also concerned about questions of integrity and wanted to push for the agenda of uh, developing and nurturing values based leaders at the university yeah. level yeah. before Bottoms people up, get yeah. into <laughs> sorry <laughs> <laughs> that came out wrong i thought oh yeah that's uh, in in this time and season that is probably meaning something very different so yeah but i get you <laughs> i get you yeah yeah i completely get what you're saying yeah and it is not in the political context <laughs> so it had its own challenges yeah. of people coming together but once we were together yeah. oh we we had the torch you yeah. know and passed on the baton yeah. and they kept the next, doing that the next lot yeah thank you for doing that for this country and for our for our children thank even you. if whether whether it exists now in that same format or it has morphed into something else at least the right foundations were were yeah. established and also the collaborative nature of you know students needing to work mm. together um student leaders needing to work yeah. together and hopefully uh moving from that level now to Uh, prefix and um, yeah. you know in high schools and, yeah. and, and lower and, and primary you know because it, it does need to going back to mm. just what I've said it, it needs to start it needs to start early yes that's, that's I think the word very the, important the, the, the word that I have misplaced there <laughs> it, it needs to start early you yes. know we need to start as early mm. as possible campus is a next primary school to start, but it's yeah. leadership you know with um with our children mm. you know as early as 
people leadership, people, students at that level. 